Let's take a look at some pump parts. What we're seeing here is the discharge, the casing, the suction, and the eye of the impeller that's tucked in. Further in is the impeller, and the veins uh, that make up the impeller are sandwiched in between the two plates that are called the shrouds. Now in this cutaway view, we see uh, the impeller that's recessed in the casing and the seal a little bit further back. The seal is, is called also a gland. Um, the seal, the way the seal works is that higher, higher pressure water is pumped in through the seal and that water will make its way into the pump or leak outside of the pump. And this is how we ensure that we have a seal, in other words, that the, uh, the material in the pump stays within the pump. And uh, a little bit further back, we see the shaft and the bearings. Also, holding the pump up is the frame. Now, this is a frame uh, from a particular manufacturer. Uh, lately, in the last uh, 10 or 20 years, or maybe even more, uh, these frames have become standardized so that uh, it's possible to change them out without going back to uh, an initial uh, manufacturer.